Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. What does that mean? Is he hidden something in it? <sighs> Catch you later. Maybe it's a dick pic. All right, hey guys, Nukes Plays here, this time with episode four of Life is Strange 2, this one entitled Faith. And last time, if you were keeping up, the brothers had gone on the run. They ended up at some sort of like weed farm thing in what was probably the worst episode of any of the Life is Strange games that I've played. Um, yeah, not great. The ending was kind of cool. That was like the one good thing about it, like, the last 20 minutes maybe. So if you're going to check out any episodes, I'd say check out part four of my episode three playthrough. But anyway, we're on to episode four. Last time we saw the brothers, they ended up in the owner of the drug farm's house and uh, he thought they were trying to steal some money, which they kind of were, but Sean and Cassidy had turned up to stop Daniel and Finn from actually doing it. It was a big misunderstanding, shit went down, uh, Daniel used his power, everyone got wiped out basically, everyone was like knocked out, and I think Sean suffered like a big gash to his face or his eye or something like that. And uh, after the post credits, what we saw was him like walking alone down a road, pretty much like this one here, which reminds me a lot of like Seven, like if you've seen that, the ending of that. So yeah, this one I'm looking forward to. If this one doesn't kind of, go well and this one's kind of sucky then i'm kind of like okay right it's, it's not going to get any better this is the clincher it could all turn around here so far it's been like okay uh i think my favorite so far has maybe been the second one even though i can't remember what happened in the second one like right now off the top of my head but um yeah hopefully this will be the turnaround so here we go yeah this is episode four faith and let's jump right in and let's see what happens to the diaz brothers next here we go this is episode four faith of life is strange 2 Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the main farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that Daniel got like shot in the shoulder, I think it was. And uh, yeah, that didn't help with him kind of fucking shit up. So I wonder if we'll actually see like Cassidy and Finn again, or whether that's kind of like their section done. Or whether they might come back like either in this episode or in the fifth one.
Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when he tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? So it's a dream, then. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <sighs> Stop! So if we're in a hospital, surely the police would have been told since they'd have to like work out who we are and stuff. Meryl was the, yeah, the drug farm owner, by the way. Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. And they've shaved his head. I was trying to grow it out. Oh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. March 26, 2017. He was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. And in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out, hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, 2017. Try to draw to kill time. This room is a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. April 3rd. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. April 11th. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are, Renano. April 15th. Claire and Stephen sent me a nice letter today. So lonely I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. He survived. That's cool. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Who the fuck's Joey? April 20th. Wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. Yeah, they were trying to get us to get a haircut in the last one, and I guess they were like, well, fuck it, if you don't want a haircut, then we'll just give you one in the fourth one anyway. Much like how uh, when you spend money, it doesn't make any difference, because you just get a different amount in the next one anyway, so. Oh, I do like how uh, here, he only has like one eye, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I, mean, I guess he must have got like a, a shard of glass in his eye because when he was like lying on the floor, there was kind of thing. But because it's like see-through, like you couldn't really tell. Like it wasn't like immediately apparent. So hard to focus. <sighs> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. He looks like way older and different with like a shaved head. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. Well, I guess that's normal. But I can keep yeah, going. Yeah, by the way, so this is the first game that I'm, like, trying to record after breaking my bed. Uh, it's, like, not even got, like, them panels on it. It's, like, kind of, like, thin wood over some, uh, like, drawers underneath it. And I think I must just, like, knelt on it and just went, dunk. So, draw a staircase. We'll draw a staircase. Oh, you man, look up. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of like, half my bed is like kind of leaning down and the other half is like, up. So, that's kind of all, that's been kind of awkward sleeping lately. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. Well, I'm sure we'll get to that highway in the desert at some point. The chiaroscuro effect, which, if you don't know, is the whole, uh, like, light and dark contrast thing. This must be my punishment. So, yeah, speaking of the uh, Game Pass, as you can see there. Yay. Uh, this goes off in, like... Stupid reality shows. Four 
days, I think, three or four days. So I had to, like, kind of bash out the last few episodes. Can't catch shit. Before it went. <sighs> Zero depth perception. I'm pretty sure if I only had one eye, I'd still be able to catch a ball. Goodbye, sports. But I don't know. I'll have to try that later. That'll be fun. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. So... Can't wait to text you. U.S. Department of Justice, FBI, Maria Elena Flores, Special Agent, Seattle Division. Call any time, day or night, if you want to talk. 206-555-0114. Okay, so I guess we can... Okay, Joey must be like our nurse guy. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, well, I guess Joey could be a girl. Guess I'm done. I guess we'll find out if we call them. Or not. All right, is there anything over on this side? We have Cassie's letter. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Okay, you better strap yourselves in. This is a fucking essay. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office and I woke up in hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury. That sounds like a great band. Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing. Not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed, as I'm sure you know. My sweet compadre, still working at Espanol, miss my lessons in teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our rail family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked under a new moonlight. It's a big world and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song, Love and Peace, from Cassidy. That's a sweet letter. And I think that's basically everything we can look at. So do we just waste time until the, the nurse guy arrives or should we click it again? This day feels like every other day, just like prison. So yeah, do you know what would actually be cool if we actually did have like a... Oh, here we go. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Sick burn. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame He's you. He's a very well-groomed man. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. I knew we'd have to do it. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. This is really hard. Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just I can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. I wonder what would happen if we just, like, didn't. 
your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. No shit. Hmm. Here, read this. So I'm guessing he's lost that eye. Like, there's no way they can, like, rebuild it if there's, like, a, I think there's, like, a glass shard, like, right in there. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first... Let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> he ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Is this Flores? Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. She does have like a head teacher vibe about her. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Peace, brother. Yeah, so like I was saying before, it would be cool if we actually had like a kind of a courtroom, like hearing, like trial thing. We could actually like, go through it. That would actually, I'd actually be behind that. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to. Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows? I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck it. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours? Huh? Just tell her that is magic. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? We were trying to stop it. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. 
So far, everything I've said is true. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. Oh, yeah, because his we leg was track down your mother, trapped though. under that wobbly Sorry. cupboard Good. wardrobe thing. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Mm. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Okay, so we're keeping shtom about the uh, whole Daniel has magic powers element, I guess. Yes. Sorry, Finn. So is he dead? That's just... Oh. She didn't want anything to do with this. Lucy Rose Jones. Cool. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Okay, so he survived as well. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. What can we say outside? It's pretty plain. Yeah, so if it was you guys, do you reckon you would tell them that your brother was like magic, or do you think that would like. I'm just gonna say magic instead of superpower, it's just quicker. Or do you think that would like. They'd take him away for like trials and you'd never really see him again, and he'd be like some sort of like freak. I guess maybe that's why he's not, and he's just trying to like protect him. But, I don't know, man. That's the truth. That's what happened. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should be sorry. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Jelena Shaw sounds like a country singer. Ugh. Don't jump. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? Ah, nice reference. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. So I wonder if he's told Joey what actually happened. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Are we going to get to see it? The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. 
Dude's got some creepy long fingers. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Are we gonna have to like do this later? Is this where they're having like an extended sequence of it? Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. Imagine that in hospital. And no smoke <laughs> break. That's fucking weird. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. What does that mean? Is he hidden something in it? <sighs> Catch you later. Maybe it's a dick pic. Okay, so can we walk around our room a bit? <sighs> Joey, you are her boss. Salvation lies ahead. That's pretty wacky structure. This is this gonna be the same as before? Yay. Stupid reality shows. To be fair, reality shows are stupid, I agree. Uh, Joey's pen. Let's look at the pen, I guess. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Can we look around this corner here? Okay, just regular bathroom, I guess. <gasps> can we check the eye? Can we see it if we check the eye? Do it, do it. God damn it. Oh, oh. Oh, there you go, a little bit. Lovely. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. You can read that in your own time if you were that interested in the thingy plan. <sighs> they kept me locked in for two months. Except for a daily exercise break. I feel like is this, this might be like one of the first times we've had like point of view. <sighs> You're here just for me. In like a Life is Strange game. I'm flattered. What I can remember, but I don't know. What do I know? Nothing. Okay, so guess we. Is there anything else? Got some drawings in the bin. More letters. Let's look at these ones. Maybe I should have let Daniel help Stephen. Sean, we are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. <laughs> the police contacted us while you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but Stephen's leg had to recover after his surgery. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, and the doctors say that you came out of that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. We hope to visit you and Jolene Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know that Daniel is missing. Okay. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you're okay. I'm fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. I like that kid. You know what? I'm not like much of like a kid guy, but I don't know. Something about him is just like kind of sweet. Yep. My art is trash now. He's one of them, like, tortured artist types. Okay, let's have a look at this towel. It's the key to the door. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. 
Oh yeah, that's like our journal. Or sketchbook thing. Because you can actually like, go through it and like, it's got kind of pictures and he kind of like writes a bit about what you've gone through. Because I was kind of looking at that in the, the last one. Uh, so maybe at some point I might like kind of go through that at the end. And like put that up as like a separate thing maybe. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. 23rd of February 2017. Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time and we gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. I think Jake was like the weird, like Christian guy or something. He was kind of, there was something like off about him. Is this like extra shit? Okay, you know, yeah, we made that. So this is what I was talking about. It's like pictures and just kind of like random scrawlings and stuff. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Boom. And there you go. There is our intro. Fucking good. This is what I mean. This is like back on track. That's the kind of thing that you want. You want it to be like leading on to something. It's kind of like, oh, how's he going to get out? That kind of shit. That's exciting. <sighs> okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. I should close these. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Can I have some privacy, please? Maybe I could, uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. So fake, but it might work for a second. Nada. He likes collecting pens because a pen was one of the uh, collectibles in. Is that it? Is that all we can do? I guess we're gonna have to like somehow get out the window. Anything in this bathroom? It's very dark. There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Okay, I guess we're gonna in inspect the window and see what we can do. <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. So yeah, this one so far is probably my favorite one that we've done. 
hope my last view of this world is in this window. Uh, even though it's just a simple, like, interrogation thing. One stupid car. I guess this means that we won't be doing, like, the court hearing and I'm out of here. thing, which I would have been into. Although we could do that in the fifth one, maybe. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Do you know what? This probably sounds weird, but, like, this kind of... Like, the look of this just reminds me of... I could me climb of, down the side of the building. You know, when it's, like, night time and you're, like, at your window. Or die trying. And you have, like, the kind of the, the cool night breeze blowing in and it just feels, like, really nice and cool. So, I guess we're just gonna have to try and climb out the window. <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. Or not. So, what are the options we got here? Let's have a look around. Maybe. Maybe. Can we check the door? I wish I could just walk out. I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. The whole room. scaffolding thing. Well, actually, there isn't really scaffolding like in backpack, it. Backpack has got to be somewhere around here. The whole climbing down the side of the building thing just gives me massive Matrix vibes. Sweet dreams, my friend. I'm going to assume he's asleep. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. Hey, sir. Hello. Jesus. Can't even take a nap. Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacist. He looks a bit like a an alternate version of the guy from. I could uh, trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Well, that was that was a drastic turn. Of uh, I think it was David from the first one, uh, like Chloe's stepdad. Bit. It's been a while since I've played that one, but he kind of has that kind of vibe. Same hair and like mustache. <sighs> yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. Okay, so I like this. This is like, how are we gonna knock out this fucking security guard? This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. Is there? I was gonna say, is there a fucking screwdriver we could use? I doubt it. I guess we just gonna pull it off. This isn't gonna go well on our uh, record thing though. The windows are secured, but who knows? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Let's do it. <clears throat> hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Where did he put it? Put up his gown. Oh, what did that say? Ambush guard. Hey, hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. Oh. <sighs> okay, it's lucky I actually knocked him out. Because you always see that in films, and I'm like, could you imagine if it just kind of like hit them and they were like kind of fucked, but like still around? Or like awake? How badly that would change. Like all them spy films, they just like karate chop them and knock them out. But if they're like, oh fuck, man, you hit me in the head. They're still conscious enough to like go and call for like security or something. That's why I'd say in real life, don't kind of count on being able to knock someone out with like a, a wine bottle or something. Talk to him. What? what is he doing here? Y 
you can tell that they totally want us to wake him up. The way how, how abrupt that escape uh, kind of transition was. It's like, Foop. okay, that was weird. We don't even get to like walk around the car park. It's literally just like a cutscene. So it might have been a bit like uh, in that last one where we we're outside that, um, was it like Big Joe or something like that? Well, that was fucking lucky. Okay, yeah, I guess that's it for part one. That was pretty cool. I think that was uh, an interesting kind of setup and I guess we escaped way too quick for my liking. But yeah, I guess we'll see what that leads to and uh, what happens next after we've escaped. Obviously now we're kind of fucked because we just smashed that guy in the head. I'm sure there's probably another way, but I was impatient and uh, we could have probably just asked him for aspirin again, and, like slipped out maybe or broke a window. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for part one. We have escaped. So join me next time for part two where we... Uh, begin our journey to try and reunite with Daniel and uh, go off on the road again. So thanks for watching, stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time for part two. So hopefully you'll join me then. Thanks a lot, guys.